Kinshasa, Democratic Republic of Congo, officials began vaccinating health workers and others against Ebola on Monday. In Bikoro, where an outbreak of the disease was declared at the beginning of May, Congo's health minister, Oly Ilunga, traveled to oversee the vaccinations of at least 10 people in Bikoro, where at least five of the 12 deaths tied to Ebola have been reported. Director of the Bikoro Hospital, Drive, Serge Nalabedo, said he and other health officials had been vaccinated for protection so they could treating patients with the disease, we who are on the front lines of caring for the sick, Dr. Nalabedo said in a telephone interview. We are reassured, those vaccinated on Monday included three doctors at the Bikoro Hospital, two health experts, two nurses, one representative of women in the community and one representative of a group of forest-dwelling hunter-gatherers. Congo's vaccination campaign, which began in Mabandaka last week, is aimed at more than 1,000 health workers and people who have come into contact with the sick in three health zones. More than 360 people were vaccinated before Monday, said a health ministry spokeswoman, Jessica Ilanga. As of Monday, Congo officials said, there were 54 cases of hemorrhagic fever, 35 were confirmed Ebola cases, 13 were probable cases and 6 suspected. Amid worries of the spread of Ebola, several schools in the Iboko Health Zone, about 112 miles southeast of Mabandaka, have been closed, according to reports by Radio Okabe, a station backed by the United Nations. Many residents in one of the Iboka localities told Radio Okapi that they preferred to stay at home to avoid infection after the death of a woman who had Ebola in the nearby Babala area. One resident said that what they first thought were rumors were becoming reality with the woman's death and that they were too scared to interact with their neighbors. Four confirmed Ebola deaths have taken place in the Iboko Health Zone, according to Congo's health ministry. Several heads of schools in the area also said they would suspend school activities to protect the children. This is Congo's ninth Ebola outbreak since 1976, when the hemorrhagic fever was first identified. There is no specific treatment for Ebola. Symptoms include fever, vomiting, diarrhea, muscle pain and, at times, internal and external bleeding. The virus can be fatal in up to 90 percent of cases, depending on the strain. Ebola is initially transmitted to people from wild animals, including bats and monkeys. It is spread via contact with the bodily fluids of those infected, including the